Where are we going? This way? Thank you, look at the sun. Face the sun. Sure. Marcus was able to do a little bit today, and he was at least in pads. Yeah, he had pads on. He was over there on the side doing some stuff with our trainers and stuff, just trying to, you know, see what he can do as far as changing directions and stuff. I haven't heard, you know, about it because I was watching practice at the time, but still, I talked to him, asked him for a second how he felt, said it felt okay. It's still a day-by-day thing at this point? Sure it is. I'm sure it is. You know, we'll, we'll have to get a report tomorrow just so we can make sure, but I think it is day-to-day. -day. Do you anticipate him doing any more tomorrow? I think that was the day spur you mentioned a couple times this week. You know, it just depends. You wake up in the morning, depends on how he feels. I'm sure he'll get with Clint Haggard, our, our trainer. And, you know, I'm sure we'll have some answers tomorrow. You think Kenny's pretty eager for this opportunity? I'm sure he is. You know, and uh, he's been really patient. He's worked hard, and uh, he looks really good in practice this week. So hopefully we can carry that over to the game. What's his attitude been like this week and before this week? You know what? It's been great the whole time. You know, we talk, and uh, he's had a great attitude. He's always had great effort in practice. So, you know, I'm sure he's looking forward to Saturday. Could you tell any difference from him, maybe a little extra pep in his step, knowing that he was going to for sure see the field this week? Well, I think so. You know, he's always been pretty upbeat, and uh, he's always practiced hard. So he's he's getting a lot more reps this week. Hopefully he's ready to go and pepped up for this game. There's a disappointment with all the offensive coaches that things dropped off for whatever reason after Marcus went out last week. Mm -hmm. Is that a fair way for you to say it? I mean, yeah, you always want to you know, you want to produce, and we had a good first half going. We just got to continue to do the thing, the right things, play 60, uh, 60 minutes the whole, whole game. And, uh, you know, didn't get a lot of snaps there in the second half, but it's still, you know, the snaps you get, it's important to just reduce, and that's the things we're working on this week, just everybody uh, doing their job and having perfect plays. Were you able to sort of put your finger on what, was, what wasn't happening like it was when Marcus was there? No, I mean, you know, we always look at the tape, and, and it's always something different, some guy here or there, um, and that's that's something that's really important for us to improve on, just everybody doing, doing the job at the same time, every play. So we've, we've done a good job this week in practice so far. Can you talk about what Kenny has done the last month or five weeks when he hasn't been playing? How he's handling? Um, Kenny's been getting a lot of reps in practice. You know, even when, when he hadn't gotten in there, so so he's he's prepared to go in. Um, he's practiced hard. Um, yes, sir. No, sir. You know, always ready to go. Um, so I'm I'm excited to see him out there. I mean, the attitude's got to be. You know, that's got to be a special attitude to have when you go through what he sure. has gone through. And it's, and it's important for all of the guys in the room. We always talk about it, you know. Everybody wants to play a lot. Yeah. It just depends on the plays and what's going on. But, uh, you know, just keep, just keep, stay ready, you know, just because the opportunity will, will arise. And, and, and it showed up for Kenny, so he's prepared and ready to go. Is that ahead of schedule for Marcus to do anything today on schedule? I don't know. I, didn't, I just didn't know. It just depends on every injury. Today. It's different and all that. Um, I don't know if it's ahead of schedule. Um, he said, you know, he's feeling better every day. So we'll see how it is tomorrow. Marcus did a little running today? He did a little practice I think today. so. I was yeah. watching practice. Yeah. I, was, I saw yeah. him hopping around a little bit. Yeah. So we'll see. Talk about the attitude of the offense after that great first half performance and then the fall off in the second half. Is there a little bit of pressure to pick it back up against Vanderbilt or – you feel that that was just a one-time thing well, that kind of fell off. Week in and week out is always pressure. You know, I understand what you're saying. Um, you know, it's important for us to play a full game. I think so for every position, every guy, you know, everybody wants to do the right thing. Do y'all look at the at the film? The two losses. It seemed like both times in the second half, you kind of went away from the run, even though there was limited plays. Is there something that you've connected between the two losses and the second half? No. I mean, the big, the most important thing for us. You know, it's not about the plays, it's about what we do on every play. And, and I think I think that's important. If, if all the guys, it's important for us, everybody to do their job, all 11 guys to do their job on every play. And I think we'll be successful. And, you know, not turn the ball over and things like that. I mean, that, that, those things figure into it also.